Welcome to PhoneSavvy.com's weekly app review. Every week we find new and exciting applications on the Android market. There's over a half a million apps on the market. We pick out some unique applications that we find interesting and we want to share them with you so you can enjoy them as well. Every week we find new apps. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube to catch all of our app reviews so that you can get the hottest trending applications on the market. If you have an Android phone, select your market application where you can find all of the apps. And an application that I recently found is called Shoot the Apple. A very hot trending application right now if you select the search option in the market and type in the word shoot. You should see shoot the apple as an option otherwise type it out. And when you select shoot the apple the first application you should see is right here by Droid Hen. Shoot the apple, very similar game to Angry Birds and a little more difficult to master. Once you download shoot the apple you can find the application in your full list of apps on your Android device. Go ahead and select shoot the apple and the game will load and let me show you how to play this fun game. Basically hit the start option and it lets you know which world you are on. In order to get to the next world you have to earn enough points. It lets you know how many coins you have in the top left corner. This is a free game to play however you can purchase additional coins if you're impatient and don't want to get to the next level. How you earn coins is you have to beat each level with enough stars and you get coins as a bonus. So basically I'll start with the first one and I beat all these levels with three stars. Kind of like Angry Birds if you beat an Angry Birds level in few, fewer birds and more points you get three stars. So I'm going to select the first option. It kind of lets you know how to play. You are this cannon here and when you touch the screen it will shoot a little doll in that direction. The doll kind of bounces around and the goal is to hit this apple here. The farther away from the cannon that you touch the faster the trajectory out of the cannon. So if I were to touch the top right corner it's going to shoot it pretty fast in this direction. However, if I touch real close to the cannon, right here, it'll just kind of lob the guy. So we want to find a happy medium so we can hit this guy here. We can touch right about here, and that should do it. The levels get much more difficult than that, as you can imagine. Other obstacles, you have to go around moving, moving obstacles. And all the guy has to do that you're shooting is touch the apple and you beat the level. After each level you beat, it lets you know how many stars you got and how many reward coins you get. Those reward coins will go into your total so that you can earn enough to purchase the next level. And as you can see, it's very similar to Angry Birds. We can play and go to the next level. We can redo this one. Or we can go back to our menu by hitting this option here, which will take you back to your levels let you know where you're at. Each level has about 20 to 30, every world anyway, has about 20 to 30 levels that you have to beat. And they get much more difficult. As you can see this one, if I remember right, we have to lob it in here and it'll kind of work its way through. And there we go. Shoot the Apple is our app of the week. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so we can show you new and exciting applications on the market. We know that there's many applications. It's hard to filter out and find the fun ones. This is a very addicting game and I've been playing it nonstop since I've got it. Also, if you want to see our app reviews on our website, visit phonesavvy.com where you can catch all of our app reviews and get answers to all of your common questions to your smartphone.